It is true that the greatest adventure awaits down the path less traveled. The desolate ancient waterways that feed Mother Superior are the roots of the world that we know today. Our modern society is nothing more than a single speck in time. Across the land once ruled by our forefathers are an endless amount of streams that fueled a thriving trapping and trading industry for hundreds of years. It is in these remote places where we find our deepest roots and experience the history which made us who we are today. Our goal is this, to begin our journey on an ancient ingrown lake and travel through its outflow as we merge into multiple different river systems which will ultimately feed Lake Superior. Oh, look at that fish! Oh, big fish at the top water! Go. He's got him! Well, we are taking you along with us on an epic adventure. I have three seniors from Marquette High School joining me on this trip, and this is the first time these guys have ever done any sort of camping fishing excursion. And not only to say that, but we are also going to be doing a 48 hour challenge of eating only what we can catch. We're not bringing any food with us, so all that we eat the next two days is gonna be only what we can either catch or what we can forage. And I tell you what, with as hungry as the four of us are gonna be, these fish better be biting. 48 hour trip, staying overnight on the river, only eating what we catch. Okay, before we get started, let's introduce everybody. We have Curtis. Yes, sir. We have Curtis, we got Porter. Yep. We got Curtis, we got Porter, and we have Sam. Yeah. This is our crew. This is the crew. We're doing it. Set up. We, I think we got it. We got it under control. I think we got it. No doubt we got it. No doubt we got it. No doubt. Well, we are set out for our adventure. 48 hours eating only what we can catch begins right now. This canoe is pretty, feels good. Yeah. Hey, how y'all feel over there? Yeah? Well, our first step is, is to find the outflow where the river flows out of this lake and then we're gonna take that waterway eventually all the way down to Lake Superior. But that's our first step and then once we get in the outflow, that's when we're really gonna start fishing hard. Yeah, I'll just hold you right here. See if you can hit it right down the middle of that channel. It's perfect. Hear those frogs? So much wildlife back here. There's all different kinds of birds in these trees and in the bushes. We have red-winged blackbirds right over here. We have beaver houses. Looks like there's an eagle's nest down here. We're gonna see some beautiful wildlife on this trip. Yeah, of course. Oh, no. Oh, no, I missed him. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Got him. Got him. Yeah. He it came back. Bad. He came back. There's one. Keep him down. Keep him down. Nice. Nice. Nice little large. large what? Oh yeah, that's yeah. sick, dude. Another nice little largey. Release. Yes, sir. Nice. Oh. oh. It was, just a, it was just a little gator anyway. Was this a pike? Yeah, it was just a tiny little gator. What is it? A little pike? A little northern. Oh, look at that fish! Oh, big fish at the top water! Go. He's got him, he's got him, guys. He's got him, he's got him. On top? the top water. Nice job. We're going for a bass boat. Nice largey. Bass boat them. Bring them, bring them in, bring them in, bring them in. Flip them, flip them, flip them. Woo hoo hoo hoo! On the top water, baby. On the top water. I was waiting for that frog to come in and do some. I knew this one's the big one. Yes. So nice this job. This one's a nice, a nice one. one. Look at that, guys. On the top water. Dude, Beautiful. He smacked oh. that dude. Beautiful. 
try to get this one. He just clamped on her. I felt that immediately. They're getting bigger, fellas. They that was getting bigger. The, we can eat that. We're gonna have to eat that. Yeah, we're gonna, we're eating that. We're gonna eat this. Too. I got a tape measure here. Let's measure them quick. So the bass have to be 14 inches, guys. We're gonna make sure this is fish is 14 inches. Well, almost 16 inches, guys. So that is a keeper bass. Beautiful fish, Sam. First of many. Beautiful well, marshlands of the UP. You couldn't ask for a better way to catch one than on a top water, though. As soon as you called on to it, I set the hook so bad. I got that 30 pound line, that spider wire, so I love just yanking them out. I had to turn myself around. It's fun. What a cool setting this is here. There's a giant old eagle's nest right above a beaver dam. We're gonna have a little portage here, but it's not a bad one. But what a cool spot this is with the wildlife. Well, we just made it through our portage here. As you can see, it's right underneath the eagle's nest. What a cool spot this is. We're gonna keep heading down river. We need some more fish for dinner, baby. Come on! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's, what's been happening so far? What's the deal? You know, we haven't hooked onto anything crazy, but we definitely got some good ones. One to keep at least should feed us for the night. Hopefully we can hook onto some trout too. We're on our way to portage number two right now. On our way? Oh yeah. Oh, we got a nice beaver dam down here. Wow. Whoa, this looks like a good one, dude. You can't see the bottom of it. I can't, <laughs> it's gonna be a steep oh, one. yeah. That's the way to go. I couldn't see the bottom just from here, guys. This is gonna be an interesting portage here. Yeah. It's yeah. paddle time. Is it? Yeah. yeah. So far, what Sam, so far, Sam has been the provider. He has the only meat on the rope so far. We need some more. I don't have the most fish though. Yeah, hey. that's me, boy. <laughs> Look at this top water. Buzzing a top water right at the top of a beaver dam here. Oh, look at the fish, dude. There's, see those wakes? Oh, yeah. There's fish taking off. Somebody should cast right below there real quick. Sam, Sam, Sam. Something just took out of there. Something just took off out of there. Right there right oh, there. nice top water buzzing right through there. Let's zoom in. Come on, baby. Hit it. Come on. What a sniping cast, dude. That was a great cast. Pitch another one. Here comes, here comes Kurt with his spinner wheeling right through there. Oh, top water sabotaged over the top. And you never know too, as we're getting down river here, there's multiple different feeder streams that flow in and you could come into a place like this and hit some trout. You just never know what you're gonna come into. Dude, you see that wake fall on my yeah. There he is. Oh my God. Oh there my God. he is. Got him, baby. Oh my, dude, that's a bigger one. That's a bigger one. Oh my. No, he wrapped me around a log. He wrapped me around a log. Sam's coming to assist. He's around a log. It's a nice fish, guys. Sam, get the fuck. Sam, Sam, yes. that's the net. Sam. Sam, get it, get it, get it. That's Sam. a that's, 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 that's keeper, that's keeper, that's keeper. Oh, yes. Sir. That's keeper, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kill him and get him, bud. Yes, sir. That is a keeper, guys. I'm right. <laughs> he launched in there, boy. Way to get after it. Oh, my God. Way to get after it. Yeah. This one's just over 24, so we'll be able to eat it for dinner tonight. Sam with the assist, helping me catch it. Ran straight into the water when it wrapped itself around the log. Beautiful fish. It's gonna taste pretty good tonight. Hello, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right on the log. Well, you can see a feeder stream flows in here, guys, and meets this branch that we're on, so we're picking up some current. Sooner or later, one of these feeder streams is gonna end up being a trout stream, so we just gotta keep heading down river and keep covering water till we find them. 
Well, just from feel, the water temperature has significantly dropped. It's not ice cold trout stream water yet, but we are moving in the right direction. I do feel like that creek that we just passed was a trout stream though, so we're heading in the right direction. Well, we're out of the marsh and we're now down into a beautiful indigenous forest. This is just absolutely beautiful country. Everything is so green, so full of life, and the river is really narrowing down. The current's picking up and we're starting to get into some nice looking trout water. Y'all fellas see this? <laughs> oh, I think it would probably be easier to do this, honestly. This is gonna be a fun portage right here. <laughs> Carry our cargo load right over this log. Some serious, serious overgrown cover here, guys. We've had to lay down most of the time coming through this section of the river. It's been very overgrown, very tight, but we're making it through. Here we go, there we go, all right. Nice, there's one. Well, we're finally getting down in a stretch of river where we haven't had a portage in a while, so that's been nice. We still have a long ways to go from where we want to set up to camp to trout fish tonight, but we're at least getting down into some water that's easier to navigate. So we're gonna buckle down, canoe hard. We've been canoeing, I'd say, for the past five hours or so, and uh, we're gonna go hard for the next two hours and set up camp right before dark here. So gonna keep boogieing. Just riding right over logs, bouncing off limbs, getting down river, baby. We got a place to be tonight. Well, we're getting down to where we want to camp. There's a really nice little trout stream that flows in right here, guys. I'm going to go check it out and make sure that it is a trout stream. But we're going to try to find an area to camp. That way we can fish that confluence tonight. And that will hopefully be a good spot to catch some trout. So look at this little lagoon back here. We could even catch maybe bass or pike in this lagoon here tomorrow morning as well. Yes, this looks like a great spot here, guys. There's a nice little high area right up here. I think this is gonna be a great spot. Nice hardwood, so should be a good spot. We'll go check it out and see. What an absolutely beautiful evening on the water. We're just going down to our trout hole where we're gonna set up camp for the rest of the night. And hopefully we'll be able to find some trout to go with our bass and our pike as well. We're gonna go down, get a fire going, I'm gonna get these fish cleaned up and then we're gonna start fishing. The mosquitoes are coming out to absolutely annihilate us tonight. They're gonna be bad, but we're gonna fight them off. We're gonna catch some trout. We're stuck in the muck here. We tried to go up and around so we wouldn't spook our trout hole. We're just pushing through the mud. I changed my clothes, I got in a dry pair of pants. I'm not looking to get wet this evening, that's for sure. Got it. All right, we gotta find a couple more worms here. I just saw one, dude. Nice, nice. There's, there's another. another one. Nice, there's another one. Piece of one, I must have cut that one in half. <laughs> Trout will eat them. It's a June bug. Oh, look at that. Look at this big June bug. We could even use him for bait. That would even be great trout bait as well.
There we go, baby. Some mosquito repellent. Oh yeah. The smell of freshly cut evergreen is so intense. And check this out here, right behind me, we have a beautiful creek that flows into this main river that we're floating down. And this is a spring fed cold trout stream. So we're hoping at the mouth of this creek where this cold water is coming into, there will be some nice trout in here that we can catch for dinner. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to skin every piece of meat I can get off of these fish. I'm gonna wide bone out this pike, get it all bone free. Then I'm also gonna take the bellies, we're gonna take the back straps, I'm gonna try to get some meat up around the gills and eat all those fish that we can harvest. So what I'm gonna do with this pike flay here is I'm gonna Y bone this fish out. Now pike often get a bad name because they can be pretty bony, but they're actually one of the most delicious freshwater fish that you can eat. You could put this up next to a walleye, and in my opinion, you would never tell the difference. Well, check out this beautiful boneless pike meat. Pike is one of the best tasting freshwater fish. They often get a bad. Fish on. We got a fish on, guys. Dude. Nice pike! Nice pike! Nice pike! We'll eat that one! Hell yeah, we will. My man! My man! Hey, right here! Swallowed it! My man! Swallowed it! Got another one for dinner, guys! Swallowed it! More scalping to do, but more din din. Dude, he swallowed that. That, that was there's thrilling. Still pike down there. I can I'm feel your heart beating right now. I'm surprised there's pike down here, yeah. <laughs> that I'm was surprised. so thrilling, dude! I love it. That was sick. Look at this guys got our camp set up. We were hoping to catch some trout, but you know what? We'll take a nice pike dude. Good job yeah. Dude yeah. Man, I got this pike over by those lily pads and there's more hope upstream Downstream and all over we have multiple streams from all types of angles and then we also got that little Lily pond bed back there. So I have lots of hope for the rest of the night and I have lots of hope for some more northerns. I wasn't expecting them this far downstream, but it shows hope and it shows that the northerns will keep on fighting through whatever beaver dams and how many calderas there are. So this is awesome. Great job, Sam. That's a beautiful fish, buddy. And you know what? We're gonna throw them right on the table here. Look at this, guys. I was just starting to clean our other northern and we got another one for the table, buddy. <laughs> Nice job, man. Nice job. Look at this. Getting a nice pile of meat going here now, guys. Need to get back out there. Go get back out there, dude. Got another chunker, dude. That is so clutch, dude. You guys should go up there in the canoe and hit it before it gets dark. You might be able to get another couple. Holy, those? those are yolk. Well, you can hear that pack of coyotes, guys. They're just about 200 yards right behind us here. They're actually really close. That was awesome. What an eerie feeling. I love that sound. I love the sound of dogs, coyotes, wolves howling in the wilderness. Well, Curtis and Sam went upstream a little ways. They're throwing some spinners to see if they can catch another pike, maybe a trout, who knows. And Porter and I are fishing the big hole where this creek flows in, and we're gonna see if we can get a trout here. But that pike that Sam just caught is right where this creek flows in, so I have a feeling that fish was feeding on some trout over the years. That was absolutely perfect. Now just let it sit, okay? Just put your rod down and just let it sit. We're just gonna wait for him. Got a full worm on there, guys. See what happens. I saw a fish rise and I cast it over by it, guys, and it bit my crawler. It was a pike, though. I don't think there's any trout in here after seeing all these pike in here, I have to say, but it does feel good to have a fish on, baby. 
Oh my gosh, he's taking drag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know I will. Taking drag. I gotta bring him up. I gotta bring him up onto the sandbar. Guys, this fish is screwed. Oh my gosh, he's taking drag, he's taking drag. He's taking drag and he's head shaking. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Porty might be going underneath your line, buddy. Okay, here we go, guys. I don't know what this is. I think it's a pike. It's been putting up a good scrap, though, but we gotta get him in the net. We gotta. Okay, Porter's on the net here, guys. Here we go. Gosh, I just have real light line on here, too. There we go! What is it? Oh, it's a huge brown trout! Oh my gosh, it's a huge brown trout! Oh my gosh, dude, it's a huge brown trout. Yeah, I think it's okay. massive. Oh my goodness. Well, typically, I would love to let a river fish like this go, but as you saw, we caught him on a worm, and he's actually hooked very deep. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this fish, and we're going to honor this fish and cook him over our campfire here tonight, guys. This is just such a special fish, special trip, an unbelievable memory, man. I cannot believe that I'm holding this fish right now. I'm just so thankful to have landed this fish, and like I said, we're gonna honor him and eat every piece of meat that we can get off of him and just appreciate this experience. Well, with this brown trout here, I'm just gonna gut him. I'm gonna keep the head on, and we're gonna cook him just like that. There's gonna be so many different flavors that come off the oils on this fish. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Well, we are gonna start with our brown trout here. This fish is gonna have all kinds of delicious fats and oils in its meat and its skin. That's gonna help even season and flavor the rest of our fish. So we're gonna get him on the fire just like this and uh, start with that. It's under the log. What log? This one. I mean, it's under that. No. I'll give you a different one. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, it is cooked perfectly. Look at that, the bone, skin cut right through. All right guys, we're in business. Look at that. Oh my gosh, get some. Okay, another one. Got it? Yep. Okay. Oh, look at that big hunk, dude. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Bro, this is actually incredible. This is delicious. This is you too, buddy. Good? Oh yeah. Okay. This is delicious. Eat those fins and all. Those fins will be like little potato chips, baby. Fins perfectly. I've never had a better fish than this. Holy. That's your impression of the brown trout then, eh? What, you what's your never, honest honest impression of the brown trout? Never get this in store. Never get this in store. And then the experience too. Just an to um, do so much and then finally get the reward like this. I'd say this whole day was worth it for sure, 100%. I mean, this brown, brown trout definitely did not disappoint. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> you know it's good if we ain't talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's good. There's nothing quite as special and delicate as a fresh caught trout over an open fire like this. This fish was swimming minutes ago and now we are honoring it by eating every piece of meat that this fish provided us. Just absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. Dumb. You guys gotta try some of his brain. You guys, what? <laughs> you guys gotta try, yeah, you gotta try some of his what? brain. Take a bite. That's wild. Dude, Where is it? It was unreal. Oh my. You guys gotta try its head. Its head is so flavorful. Yeah, it's one of the trends. Isn't it interesting? Bit. It's weird that it tastes very good. Like, I, I'd be, I'm surprised that it tastes as good as it does. Doesn't it have just a unique texture? And it does too, yeah. It oh, tastes, boy, it does food. taste different than the meat too. It's weird that it tastes so much different than the meat. It actually does, bro. Try to. That's interesting, bro. Try to. 
Well, I'd say it's safe to say we picked that fish clean. We didn't leave any meat behind and now we're gonna get a pan full of pike and bass on the fire. Okay, now we're gonna get our next round of fish going here. Gonna put a bass flay on and then we're gonna put some pike flays on and get a big pan of fish going here. Yo. Well, our first round of bass and pike is done here, guys. Check this out. The meat is flaking perfectly, and this is smelling and looking delicious. It's gonna have a little hint of our brown trout on there as well, and that's definitely not gonna hurt anything. Looks like it's cooked perfectly. Fish is flaking all the way through. We're making our paper hey, plates work. Here, let me give you a piece of bass. Oh. We got some pike, we got some bass there. All right, guys, who's next? First reaction on the bass. How's the bass porter? The trout's a little better, oh yeah, but that's still pretty good. The trout just soaks in so much of the flavor. But yeah, the trout really just absorbs all why. the flavor, I feel like. I don't know why. But the, the, the bass definitely gets the job done. It'll definitely feed you, that's for sure. Let me just have one more bite. Yo. Yeah, you hear like slashing against the water. Mm -hmm. Well, what an absolutely beautiful morning. It is so calm and so peaceful out here. We got a good night's sleep last night and we're just about ready to start our days full of adventure. We're gonna get a fire going, cook up the rest of the fish that we had, and then start making our way down towards Lake Superior. Mm -hmm. There we go. There, she's rolling now. She'll start up. Since you got your light jacket on, bro. Yeah. Oh, move it over? Yeah. Always straight. Oh. I guess coffee's fine. Okay, here we go. Going for our bass here. Bass is good. Let's try our pike. The pike is far better. It has a totally different texture and it just has a whole different flavor. Definitely pike comes out on top, but like Porter said last night, the bass will feed you. Okay. <laughs> here we go. All right, we're underway. Day two, headed down to Lake Superior, baby. On our way. Three, two, one. Oh, oh that felt so good. Fish, fish, fish. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice brown. Nice brown, guys. Nice brown, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it a sucker? Oh, it's a sucker. It's a sucker. It's a sucker. Oh my gosh, guys. I thought it was a nice brown for sure. That was a heartbreak, but you know what? We'll take them. Should we keep them just in case we don't catch anything else? I mean, it's food. If nothing else, it's food, you know? I'm gonna, I, we're gonna be able to catch more of these, so I'm gonna say let's let them go for now. I would, I'm confident we can catch more suckers. Ugh, thought it was a big brown, guys. 
It's all right though. It's a fish. Pass him on the inside. Pass him on the inside, baby. Come on, buckle down, dude. <laughs> Brakes, 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 right side, right side. <laughs> ah! We got him! We got him! Is that even being legal? It is legal! Well, we made it down to the mouth of the river here. Lake Superior is just 100 yards off to my right, but I gotta say, the fishing has been very tough today. We were catching some trout this morning and got a few trout to eat tonight, but it has been hours since we've had a bite. We kinda got out of that trouty looking water and got down into some slower, deeper looking water, but just haven't found any walleye, bass, pike, or anything yet. Let's hope they got something. As we made our way downstream and approached the mouth, the river really widened out and the current slowed down, so it became apparent pretty quickly that we wouldn't stand much of a chance to catch trout anymore. We decided to switch gears and target more warm water species, but I have to say, we fished as hard as we possibly could that evening and just couldn't muster up any more legal fish. As much as I'd like to say that we completed the full 48 hour challenge, that just wasn't the case. So somewhere in between hour 40 and 41, a couple chicken breasts magically fell out of the sky and made their way on top of our campfire. And I have to say, it was quite a delightful surprise. Well, there's no better way to spend a summer night than sleeping on the beach, on the shoreline of Lake Superior, looking up at the stars, the waves are lapping in. And it is just an absolutely beautiful evening out here. I'm not, I'm not saying that there is that yeah. many But I think that people, people can just make that kind of thing. Well, needless to say, we are tuning in for the night. But what an awesome experience this is, looking up at the stars. I've seen several shooting stars so far, and they are just so bright. This is such an awesome experience, and what a way to end this trip. Well, good morning and welcome back. It is the third and final day of this challenge. Although we didn't complete the full 48 hour challenge, we can say we secured a solid 40 hour challenge. And I sure was proud of these guys for working hard, sticking with it and completing this adventure with me. Guys, check this out. We found a planer board floating in Lake Superior. There's a big line, big line attached to it. Was it snagged up? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody lost their planer board. What if there was a fish on it and we just ate the fish? That'd be awesome. <laughs> Gotta stop and take a couple gas on the big lake, baby. No takers, no takers. Well, mission accomplished. We've made it all the way to the town of Marquette. Marquette is right here. We had to push through a tough time there for a little bit, but we did have a couple absolute feasts on our own fresh catch.